hi people me again obviously more no even but now uh, this is a quick fyi in relation to the following question or inquiry uh, because you might be wondering if someone has practiced the occult and all of a sudden something happens and they are incapable of practicing or similar can they walk away from a life like that and do they want to walk away from a life like that so can you go from normal person to the occult or to being a cult being an occultist and then going back to a normal being a normal person again in a matter of speaking um if you have no other choice or if you want to and or if you want to uh essentially similar to simply quitting a job i used to be a welder i'm not a welder anymore blah 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 etc etc the answer plain and simply is uh, yes in theory it is possible but in actuality it's highly unlikely and the plain and simple reason other than so the main reason other than other minor outlying reasons the main first and foremost and primordial reason is that um, people that practice the occult when you successfully practice bear in mind you need to be successful in practicing once you come into contact with that kind of power you won't want to go back to being a so called normal person you won't want to because it's plain and simply the equivalent of driving an suv going from riding a bicycle to driving an suv we're talking about a heavy duty sports car that um, you know that can for example go uh, 100 kilometers in half an hour for example or 15 minutes you name it in any case you're used to that level of luxury you're used to that living standard and then to go back to a bicycle to literally cycling you can imagine you know what kind of a downgrade that is i mean that's like the biggest downgrade ever it's like living in a nice house that's like a palace and going back to living in a tent alongside the road a makeshift tent so yeah that's the reason for why provided again provided that people that practice successfully actually can do so Of course other minor reasons such as the degree of success they accomplish all of that stuff plays a role that's why i said it is doable and possible in theory um uh, very realistic and as long as someone prepares themselves well and makes proper arrangements yes you can do so you can simply go back to being a, a so called regular person and go about your life in a normal fashion but again it's rare you rarely hear people quit being an occultist um just like that when they um, again you know because when you come into contact with that kind of power with spiritual power let alone with true divine power you will not want to go back you will literally not want to go back to being a normal person just the likes of exactly the way i described when you're used to the best in a matter of speaking actually having to for whatever reason go back to using for example the cheapest of items it'll literally mentally damage you you'll become so depressed that mental instability is bound to follow because um again the, the the essentially the shock in in a difference in living standard the shock in a state of mind it's a it's essentially it's a downgrade in state of mind not just state of being so again it's like literally being on a scale of 0 to 10 being smart at level 9 and then you go back to being a level 1 nah it's just again you can't become stupid overnight you can do it in theory but you can't become stupid just like that again nor would anybody want to so yeah there you go and let alone individuals that are severely mind you severely almost borderline addicted to the occult because they've come into contact with that kind of power and they enjoy it so much um or they enjoyed it so much you name it when they're knocked out in a matter of speaking or they simply are washed up and they simply don't want to you know they don't want to give up the occult for example it does not matter really okay um the likeliest of situations to happen to these individuals because i've seen this for example with with um but like i said it's rare i have seen i rarely seen it with for example guys that practiced and then for whatever reason they had to just leave things be and go back to leading normal lives yeah things did not end well for them generally speaking what happened to these guys is mental instability ensued these guys had this borderline obsession with practicing and they simply couldn't handle it it's like 
someone breaking up with you in a matter of speaking and you were so caught up on that person you imagine being married to a woman if you're a guy and you're so caught up on your girl that when she says hey i want a divorce you simply cannot let go the same thing that happens with people that are in those kind of obsessive relationships it's unhealthy okay that kind of obsession obviously is very toxic and what happens these people simply can't let go of the thought or of the notion of um of of hey it being over us and hey we're through fine i need to move on with my life nope they simply can't and as a result or consequence what happens to the guy in question woman wants a divorce she divorces the guy the guy starts on a downward spiral like there's no tomorrow he loses everything he had that made him a respectable member of society and he simply devolves into a deadbeat loser slash junkie or similar that's generally speaking what happens to people as well that um, practice the occult and for whatever reason things don't work out and they have to walk away respectfully in the best case scenario they simply cannot let go of it okay because they still remember the good times essentially they still remember when they actively had that level of power and all the benefits that it brought along with it and they become obsessed to the point where mental instability ensues and regardless of what happens either way it's not going to end well for them these guys can end up alongside the street you name it it's very similar to what happens is if a magician for example makes some stupid mistake and he it comes off as disrespecting the entities he works with those guys i have seen or i've read upon messages from those guys um real the closest i came to real life examples were over the course of my life at a domestic level seeing for example a newspaper story or a couple of stories about a guy that used to be a magician a spellcaster and they found him homeless completely mentally disturbed talking to himself uh his eyes bulging open so yeah i already i think i already said this in the past somewhere that um, you're going to thingy the spirits you work with will thingy will wreak havoc upon you okay if you as a magician something horrible happens and you this it comes it's the equivalent of you disrespecting the spirits you work with or the energies you work with or interact with you know it's one hell of a short circuit and that energy is going to retaliate against you and okay it doesn't matter how metaphorically high you were you're immediately going to be taken down <laughs> uh a metaphorical thousand pegs and uh yeah you'll you'll find yourself in such a position at the absolute bottom of society instead of at the absolute top in a matter of speaking so that's all guys bye